Since we're gonna be resting, let's rest. Let's use fire to see it. Uh oh. Burned. Not that much, not that bad damage, but you can only use it three times. Oh yeah, almost killing Jack. We need to get rid of these guys quick. Oh. F oh. F oh. F Good. That, that's we're getting lucky there. Come on, kill them guys. Oh. Sh and, oh. Sh oh. Sh Seeing that name brings back memories. That was abrupt, though. This also looks really terrible. Anyway, yo, everyone. You are here with another Let's Play, and this time we are starting a JRPG one. Something that I've been wanting to do for a while, but it's hard to find the right one, because Let's Playing a JRPG can be really, really, like, challenging to keep up with. Um, and I wanted to, so there's some franchise I'd like to start at the beginning of, you know, and Final Fantasy is one where I'm not going to, I'm not going to keep myself, if it's not story based, I'm not going to keep myself like tied down to the first, um, certain things I will, but Final Fantasy I won't. I do want to play the first one first though, because it's, two and three are rough, basically, let's just say that, but one is fine in the later remade versions the original nes version which i do have i might review that sometime but that game is poison to watch uh so we won't be playing that one but we're going to be playing as you see we're in Final Fantasy origins which i did not know came out in 2003 that is kind of weird the playstation 2 was out then still got to get money from that playstation crowd i guess and it does work on ps2 um, but yeah, we are playing Final Fantasy 1, and that, that might be a boring playthrough, so we'll see how that goes, but let's just jump right in. And I've never played the PS1 version. I played the PS, the Game Boy Advance version, which was awesome. There is that beautiful name again. This is weird. I've never ever seen this. Polymega making those, uh... This is showing just how pixelated those CG cutscenes that were amazing at the time they actually are. Well, oh my god, who is that even supposed to be? I know it's the Warrior of Light, like, but who is that even supposed to be? Like in this game. What's the purpose of this cutscene? Final Fantasy 1, for those who don't know, has a very simple story, but it doesn't have any characters, really. Okay. What was that supposed to be? I know who that isn't supposed to be. That's supposed to be Tiamat, one of the bosses. Okay. Is that all we're going to see? Is that all this intro has for us? Some weird, vague, not very cool thing with involving a really weird looking warrior of light. There's prelude though, that music is amazing. Yeah, that's all we had for us. Warrior of Light's always been the weirdest character because it's such a nothing thing. It's up there in the logo, but that's pretty much it. Why was that so off centered? Now where are you going to... Oh, this is a cool looking screen, but what is it? A great darkness shrouded the world. Okay. Hey look, it's a very RPG maker looking. <laughs> the wind died. <laughs> That's not very good. Garuda, you son of a bitch. Oh, that water looks so bad. Is 
thought you said the wind died. How can it be stormy? The sea raged. How could the sea rage if the wind died? They already don't know how things work. So they don't look like they're raging there. They look pretty stagnant. The earth began to decay. So basically, this world is fucked, is what you're saying. Only a prophecy kept hope alive in people's hearts. That Jack is going to come and fight chaos. Though darkness fails the world, four warriors of light shall come. His name is Jack. He's here to kill chaos. After journeying far, four young warriors did at last appear. Yep. This is the weird thing about this game. The hands of each rested, rested a mysterious crystal. The weird thing about this game is you don't, uh, there's no party or anything like that or characters. It's literally four color, uh, characters you get to pick the class of and such. Boom. That was weird. So are we actually, is, is it launching into the game or do I go to a menu? Never mind, there's a menu. With prelude though, good to hear that. Push any button, uh, uh, why? I don't have a file to load, so new game it is, norm mode. And so here we are. Sign each character's name and class. So warrior is what I'm keeping and guess what? His name is Jack. You can't even begin to know how jack he does i will save the princess uh i don't think i want a thief i think i want a red mage and a white mage and a black mage it might not be the most balanced shit in the world uh i think let me read what they do powerful fighter an agile rogue with nimble fingers and precise attacks. Warrior monk, strong in both body and mind. Fights best unarmed. Um, maybe the monk. No, let me. Let's let's just go thief. Let's go thief. Actually, let's go thief. Um, I don't remember any of the other characters' names in um, in. Stranger of Paradise. Anyone who doesn't know that gem, I need to actually finish that game sometime. Um, it's cooler than it deserves and it has any right to be, but boy, is it stupid. Uh, let's just let's just name them after. You know what? Let's just name them after things I'm playing right right this very second. So this will be out of date. So Black Mage will be Banjo. Why can I not see? Is this a J? It is. Oh, God. Uh, this will be Jill, then. And I guess the thief is Mario. This is appropriate. Jack, Mario, Jill, and Banjo. Let's go. Proceed with this party assignment. Yes, it's the default party assignment, but let's proceed with it. Let's see if we can beat Cat. Right into it! That music sounds very much like... No, how do I actually save? I don't know how I actually save, but... That music sounds... Like flying music and RPG maker. Like, MV. Let's just go in here. I don't know how to save. Oh my god. Why are you blocking my way? This is Cornelia, the city where dreams are woven. Our king is searching for the warrior, the light warriors. Wait, can you be? Please, go see his majesty at once. Fuck, he's taking me right there. Travelers, is it true that you are crystal bears? Bing! Whoa! The prophecy says, when darkness fails the world, four warriors of light shall come. But your majesty, we have no proof that these four are the true light warriors. Light warriors? 
sure it was not coincidence that four warriors bearing crystals appeared now. Brave ones, I need your help. Please rescue my daughter, Sarah. Garland, once a knight in his ah, Garland, once a knight in his majesty's service, has abducted Princess Sarah. We have learned that he is in the Temple of Chaos, north of Cornelia. We attempted to rescue the princess, but his powers far surpassed ours. Perhaps you wish to cross the Northern Strait, the bridge that once spanned it was lost long ago. If you bring my daughter back safely, I will build a new bridge. I am counting on you. I am holding your world-saving journey hostage for my daughter. My daughter, you Iris trade offer. I receive my daughter, you receive new bridge. Seems pretty fair to me. Okay. Bless the crystals. It is just as Lucan foretold. Light warriors, I need your help. Garland has abducted my daughter. Please bring her back to me. Fuck you, king. Uh, let's go explore. Can I sprint and... Uh, yeah, hurl the circle button. We received a report that Garland has fled to the Temple of Chaos, north of Cornelia. No one over there. Oh, this is old. I, I love what this looks like, though. Our king is searching for the Light Warriors. Wait, can you be? But it's weird that this looks... This is a complete remake of Final Fantasy 1. They made this on the PlayStation. The queen has shut herself away in her room out of grief. They made, they made this on the PlayStation. Why does it look worse than the Super Nintendo Final Fantasies? Yeah, it looks worse than Final Fantasy 5 and 4. It's a very... especially. I am Jane. Queen of Cornelia, please save my daughter, I beg you. What will you give me if I do, Queenie? I'm only here for chaos. Well, at least we know that Jack knows what he wants. He wants chaos. What are you doing? Oh, please, please rescue the princess. You look like Edgar. Carolyn was once an honorable knight. What could have driven into such hatred? It's probably chaos, you know, the, the the concept of chaos, not the actual being. That guy's a fucking asshole. I'm gonna go kill him. I want my sis back. Oh, uh, you'll you'll get her after I'm done with her. Our king is searching for light warriors. Can you be? Let me go around here and see. Can I get in there? I want to talk to that old man. I can. No one over there. God the blur. Our ancestors sealed weapons away here and left the key in the elven prince's keeping. He was to guard it until the light warriors came. Well, I'm here now. The door is locked with the mystic key. Our ancestors sealed away weapons. You said the same thing. What was the point of that? What is the point of them saying the same thing when they're this close together? Well, let's go look in Cornelia the town and see what's what that. That's a big castle for what we just seen. Cornelia. Fuck you, Cornelia. Oh, yeah, that's what you already said. Uh, so is the inn where I save it? Like, hard save? Want to hear about equipment? Sure. Equipment can be divided into weapons and armor. You can only equip them in the equipment menu. As you may already know, weapons are used to attack enemies. Armor can be divided into four groups. Body armor, shields, helms, and gloves. Suits of armor protect most of your body, but can be heavy. Armlets can be good, armlets can be good light and alternative. Shields can deflect many a blow in battle. Someone under possess special abilities. Helms protect the head. I recommend wearing one if your profession allows it. Those protect your hands, of course. Wear them when you can. I happen to know a lot about magic. Yes, magic's weird in this game. There are two types of magic spells, black and white. White magic mainly heals, while black magic is used for attacks. You can learn up to three spells per level. If you already have three spells and wish to know another, first select one by, drop one by selecting drop. Then learn another spell. You can relearn a spell you previously dropped in the same manner. Well, my best advice to you is to find your own fighting style. Very weird. Mag magic is very weird in this game, compared to later. 
I'm an expert on monsters. Let me tell you what I know. Every kind of monster is a weakness of some sort. Learn that weakness in combat will become much easier. For example, water creatures are vulnerable to lightning. To so choose spells and weapons accordingly. Do you wish to hear some tips on items? You know that some equipment can be used as items in battle. But to try each piece out to see what effect it has, if any. Sleeping bags, tents, and cottages can only be used outdoors. They can restore your HP and save your progress, so use them wisely. Also, it never hurts to keep a good supply of potions and endorts on, on hand. You may receive key items along your journey. Their purpose may not always be clear, so try using them in different places. Yeah, this game is very weird considering it's very literally the first one. What do you got? No. Well, I said yes by accident. Fuck, I tried to press down and it's just made me press say yes. Oh, the black mage. I love them. Banjo. Yeah, so that's how you save. You save at inns. You have to pay to save. What a load of... What a crock of horse shit. Yeah. So the game is cute. The, the game's overworld is definitely cute. I hate that I paid 30 bucks for nothing, though. What do you have to say? Hi there, handsome. Wink. Okay. What do I have, actually? Do we start with anything? This game was fucking... Yeah, you did what you... You did it. You just had to do it. Bless the crystals. Oh, please. Please rescue the princess. Robert Lucan left Cornelia, saying he was off to find the crescent moon. So, this is black and white magic. We want at least one of each. We want cure one. And we want, uh... I forgot what Dia even does. What the fuck are you... Get him away. Let's buy fire one. Yep. So it's a very weird system. Very weird. You don't learn it, you have to buy it. Because that's how things worked. What does that say? I thought he was going to say... His Majesty believes the Light Warriors will save the princess, as the Prophet Lucan told him. What if Lucan was lying? What if I didn't want to save the princess? What if I wanted to take the princess for my own? You ever think of that? You ever think the hero just wants to do that? You hear the? You think the hero wants to run around for everything? <laughs> okay, at least things are cheap. So I need two of them. And she needs the hammer. I need... Can you use a knife? You can. What's better? Do I have a way to look? Attack five, attack six. Oh, that's weird. And what's the hammer's attack? Nine. Weird. Okay, Nunchaku is for the, uh, Nunchaku is for the um, monk, I believe. So, Rapier. Rapier. For some reason, it makes me feel like the thief should be able to have two things. Okay, so that's me done. That's like two weapons. It feels like that's what they would be able to do. But not maybe not this, uh, not this early. Why are you just like flat out red? So I need three shirts. And then... Uh, leather armor. Because we need to pick some actual items up. Up. And I remember to actually to heal in this game, or to revive in this game, you have to actually um, go to church, I believe. Just like Dragon Quest, I believe. You have to pay for it. Just like Dragon Quest. This game was a lot more uh, of in-depth than, than I remember. Because equipping armor lowers your speed. Which is very weird. Makes sense, but very weird. Seems such a long time has passed since I left the town of Prava Provoka in the east. Has it? You should know. Oh, please. Please rescue the princess. Can you get out of the fucking way? Thank you. Yes, yeah, he was nose. Holy shit, everything is so expensive. Now, I guess I'm not buying any healing items. I don't know how magic works, either. I think you only have certain amount of uses for it. There's no... Yeah, look at that. Look at that weird system. This game is so fucking weird. Like, compared to other RPGs. 
Here's a church, no need for our help, I see. Keep hope in your hearts and be strong. That's how you revive yourself. Uh, let's just go out. Let's go. Let's jump into this. Let's just let we got memos. We got we got save states. We're on the poly mega. You think I'm scared of a little dumb shit? Let's save state. Yeah. So let's get going, and we're gonna go and fight some chaos. He said north, right? Well, there's the bridge that's broken. That was the most epic battle introduction for goblins I've ever seen. So this is a proper turn-based RPG where you actually select everything at the beginning and then it performs based on speed. Banjo, you're weak fuck. You weren't even strong enough to kill them. I got money for that. I got $18. We killed a bunch of goblins and got $18. We saved a lot of women from uh, from uncertain fates. Not, not, not uncertain, certain fates. Of, of, a, of a very, like, not great con like variety. Yeah, oh, you fucking... So I just remembered. You wanna know it's a new feature? That's ridiculous, it's a new feature. Um, so you see how whenever I killed someone, the other people were attack like, attacked other characters? That's new to this version. In the original NES version, if you attacked... If you had three people attack one enemy and two of them killed it, um, the third one would attack the air. And I see a goblin guard, so I'm scared of this uh, fucking shit. I'm gonna burn one of them. No, I'm gonna save the- I have to save the burning, because we're going to a dungeon. Okay, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. There we go, you guys work together to kill the goblin. Kill him? Yeah. Oh, what? They got- they must- my, my, maybe the 20 health? A lot of money there. As far as the beginning of the game is, I should say. 145. Let's just move on. There it is. Pretty simple, right? Enemy strikes first, you son of a fuck. Oh, shit, that did a lot. That did a lot, too. Holy shit. I'll give them a little bit more before I revive my... I, oh, shit. Mario! Mario? Holy crap. Look at that little chanting animation. Okay, we won, but Mario's almost dead, and reviving uh, is... I'm gonna... I'm going to walk back, I think. Let's... Let's walk back and in, in, uh, stay at the inn. Like... We're, we're, we're just starting. We don't want to ruin it this early. How... Oh, I was gonna check and see what my experience leveling up was. A wolf. That wolf's cool looking, though. Yeah, so I'm, I'm, so I'm familiar with the Game Boy Advance version. Uh, this seems very much like the Game Boy Advance version. I'm not too sure what's different. The Game Boy Advance version probably has a lot more extra content, and it had pretty cool extra content. You actually fought bosses from, old, from newer games, which is very weird. So this is what Final Fantasy's... Oh, god damn it. This is what Final Fantasy 1 is going to be like. It's going to be a lot of me talking at nothing while slow gameplay happens. They uh, wouldn't. They did not like Jack. Oh, they are trying to attack Jack and Mario. They're at least they're. Oh, fucking Banjo. Dropping the ball again. Mario's almost fucking dead again. There, J Banjo, you killed something. Hey, Jack in level. 28 HP up. Strength up. Agility up. Endurance up. Mario gained level. 22 HP. That's a lot. Jill. 27 up. Strength up. Agility up. Intelligence up. Luck up. Holy shit. Yeah, that's a lot of life that they're just gaining. Like, that's almost doubling. It's been a lot. I and mean, it doesn't heal you. So, yeah, it's a good thing I came back here. Oh, f well, let's hope they don't kill Mario. Let's heal Mario. Oh, it looks like she... What the hell is that? It looks like she gained another use. Can you attack everyone in this? No, you can't. 
since we're gonna be re what the hell's going on? Since we're gonna be resting, let's rest. Let's use fire to see it. Uh oh, burned. Not that much. Not that bad damage, but you can only use it three times. Oh yeah, almost killing Jack. We need to get rid of these guys quick. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Good. That, that's we're getting lucky there. Come on, kill them guys. Oh shit. And, oh shit. Oh shit. I think that's the one that didn't attack, so... That was so close, I don't know if I would have had enough money to revive him. So that's the tension and some, like, kind of exciting part about uh, playing old RPGs. Like, that was... Those were just basic enemies. Like, that was pretty tense, weirdly enough. Weirdly enough. What, what do you think the bosses are going to be like? Black Mage is a strange design. Like, what is it supposed to be in, like... Like, it became very iconic, but why is everyone else just a normal human-looking thing? And Black Mage is just, like, a void with eyes. It's super weird, but we did it. We did it. Let's, let's go buy some, um... Potions? Maybe a sleeping bag? I could probably buy one sleeping bag. It only restores a little bit of HP. Wow. Okay, tents probably all, and then two potions. So let's go, and we can get, uh, when we get up to there, we can use a sleeping bag, and we'll be in more work and order. I think, re I think resting at the inn recovers your magic uses, right? Yep. Okay, good. Save state. Save state. I'm gonna have to remember to save state with the menu down so I can tell the difference between them because I wanted to cycle save states. Just like with every other game, you cycle saves. Rotate your saves if you can. Unless this is like Banjo and you can't, or Mario. Mario you can, I guess, kind of. Well, let's get them. Okay, missed, thank God. And look at all the health. Look at all the health I have. This is so much better. It'd be, it'd be ideal if I don't need to use a sleeping bag getting up there. Four and eighteen. Just think of your gold, your your gill, uh, like a like a build up compared to how much things cost. Uh, it's sixty gold for a potion, and I just got eighteen for killing for one fight. So that's like that's that's three fights, um, like four fights minimum with eighteen each, just for one potion. There was 24 gil. Like, this this game is a lot more limited, but it's a lot cooler in a way. Oh, come on. Oh, Gygus Worm. This thing is, seems scary for me just to randomly find in the woods. Yay! The thing they're missing every now and then. Holy shit! The health on them too. Ow! Fuck! Let's burn this shit. Oh, thank God! Me burn. Die, please. That is one heal. Yeah. I'm about to use a sleeping bag just to see if it gives me my my magic back. This thing is brutal. Welcome to NES games, I guess. Even RPGs. Oh, thank God. Let me use the sleeping bag and see if it brings it back. And we'll save in the memo, not a save state. Save. And sleeping bag. <laughs> what is that? It looks like a fucking, like, bugle chip. I guess let's save. Let's hard save. That show the steps you take? What does it matter? Please give me my magic back. Didn't. Aw, oh, fuck. Well, well, let's try it. We're here. Wait, what? That's weird. That's weird. This is pretty cool music, though. A ghoul. Oh, it's woo. Oh, 
So they really want you to like, oh my god. They really want you to spend time leveling up and stuff before you actually go in here. Like that's the only thing I can think of. That guy was rough. We'll see, we'll see what happens. Found a leather cap. Okay, so let's toss that on Jack here. Makes your evade go down. I don't know how a hat would lay, weigh you down that much. Oh, shit. Oh my god, they do a lot of damage. Like, we're at the beginning of the game. Oh my god. This definitely feels more like an RPG than, um... Oh, well, at least they don't, they don't have very much life. But it seems more like an RPG than some of the later ones in the regards to, like, it feels, like, unforgiving. Um, which, it's been a while since I played it. I remember do getting the max level in the Game Boy Advance version. Oh, fuck. Can I flee? Not before he takes a number on me. They got away, but not before he did a number on me. Uh, let's use the potion, then. Actually, no, let's use magic. Oh, we have to save that potion. Hmm. I'm definitely not gonna be able to beat Garland. Why? That's all I need is you guys striking a first again. And they like to go for Jack. Holy shit. You're gonna have to use the po- oh, I have two potions. You're gonna have to use a potion on Jack. I think that guy didn't attack, though, so it's good to do that. Fuck. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to stay in here. I'm gonna have to go back and just level up and get more experience and money. Holy shit. Not very much money for that. They do a lot more, a lot of damage for a little- Oh my god, I took two steps! Oh, fuck. <laughs> well... This might be the end of the run. Then we'll have to go back to outside and just, like... Like, farm, grind, I guess. Yeah, I have to leave. I have to leave. I hope I can actually leave. I'm up in a weird spot. Like, Jesus Christ. Well, I made it out, but now I have to make it back. This game is a lot more like, unforgiving than I remember. Uh, these guys, I don't remember being too bad, at least. Yeah, the one's gone. And I think it might have been one that didn't attack. Oh, no, it was one that attacked. Oh, well. Keeping track of who's atta who attacked and stuff can be helpful. So you can know what, who you're, like, whether or not you're going to expect another hit. God, how much money do I have? Not very much. How much do I have? What's the next level? 40 experience. This is... This game is rough. At least at the beginning. When you get more resources, it probably becomes pretty easy. But at the beginning, this is rough. It's been a long time since I played this game. Like I said, I played the Game Boy Advance one. And that was when the, the Dawn of Souls. And that's when Dawn of Souls was new. I never thought this game was super like uh, this game is in this game's fun, uh, but it's not like um, super memorable. So, more goblins. There's five of them. Just get away from me, Wham! And we've got Jill there. I don't even know if the white mage is a female sprite, but they definitely became like a female character uh, by default later. Come 
come on, don't miss you guys. We're almost back to town. Jill is almost dead. Jill and Jack, but Jack and Jill. I just realized that are Jack and Jill. But um Jill is a lot weaker. Jack will take a couple hits. Oh fuck. Hopefully this is the last fight before. And we got the preemptive strike this time, so it might this might be over before they're taking any damage. Come on, now both you have to hit. There we go. Did it. 18 gil. That's not even a stay at the inn. Oh, this game's exhausting. How much money do I have again? If the sleeping bags gave you magic back, things might have been different. But they don't. So I have to remember not to use any magic, which sucks. I had to use it versus the Gigas Worms. If I don't get any Gigas Worms, I should be able to do it. Let's just go and buy some items. Maybe more spells. There are a hundred each. What do I have? Two seventy. I have enough for. I'm, I'm gonna buy one spell. Let me go see what other white magic I can buy right quick. Hmm. What's Tia do? Inflicts damage on raises defense. Raises on evasion by eighty. I like how it's telling me about a knight when I don't even know what that is. And yeah, no, nothing there yet. Out of the fucking way. Um. Let's buy Bolt. Ninja can learn Bolt. Ninja can learn Black Magic as well. That's super weird. So I obviously like I know obviously know what knight and ninja are, but I mean in the game I don't, because knight is uh like you your your characters promote classes later on. It's kind of where the idea in Final Fantasy XIV came from, like start with, or in other things like characters switching um switching in like uh Final Fantasy IV for example. So yeah, I need to fight a bit more, which really sucks. I need to at least make more than 30 for uh, then for it to actually be worthwhile. Maybe I'll level up one more time before starting to head up. Oh. I wish the uh, I wish the enemies were either on screen or you had more tell when you're going to fight. Like the random oh my god. RNG is literally the worst. Come on, no, don't miss anyone. Oh, for the love of Christ, you could... <sighs> RNG's rough in this game. Hey, that gave me 30 gil. That, there's the, um, the in, the in right there. 16 more experience to a level as well. All three might be making me enough to be able to do it, because it, you get, if, if you still get a lot of expel the health from it. Uh, this should probably give me like 20 gil or something like that. Not very much. At least it was someone that, could, that might potentially not kill someone that missed. Oh my god. This game... Oh, come on. Like, I swear, this game gets better as you get better. Yeah, I was right, 24, Gil, there. This game gets better as you get stronger. It just starts off rough. The magic system is also weird. This should be another 30, Gil. Which is in the free in. Uh, the free in stay now. Oh, for the love of Christ, why didn't you, you, you kill them? At least that's dead. Boom. It's dead. 730 gil, yeah. So one more... I think I'm at... I think I only need one more fight to level up. 
and then I can continue on. There's another 30 gil. I'll go grab, um... Like, I'll go grab, uh, another potion. Oh, fuck you. And try not to use any magic on the way up. That's the most important thing, is not using any magic on the way up. Oh, son of a bitch. There we go. At least no one else missed. Seven. Yeah, level 26 more HP. Strength, agility, endurance, and luck. Uh, 25. Strength, agility, intelligence, endurance, luck. 25. Strength, agility, intelligence, endurance. Hey, what? Agility, intelligence, and endurance. Wow. Okay, Banjo really dropped the ball there. Is this like a uh, Fire Emblem thing where the level ups uh, bonuses are random? If so, that's really shitty. <laughs> I am one gil off, by the way, from being able to afford two potions. And well, what do you want to call that but shit? Okay, let's just go. Let's grab one potion and go up. go this should this game should speed up as i go like it's again it's all just the beginning being rough but it should speed up as i go i should be able to do more and more uh you also notice the ghoul i may have noticed the ghoul did uh two attacks uh, that is something that you can eventually do, too, where you can attack, like, two to three times or whatever uh, per hit, and it's great. It's great. Goblins, motherfuckers, die. Leave my white mage alone. I wish you would m not miss. You're supposed to be accurate, thief. Unless you're supposed to have a dagger. At least he's missing. But, Thief, I thought you were supposed to be super accurate, unless I need a dagger for you instead of, um... I took literally, like, one or two steps! This is why people hate, uh, ran uh, like, random battles. At least make them a little bit more, like, fair or, like, have a rule to them and not completely random. Because that was annoying. Oh, for fuck's sake. And it's five of them, so I can't, I can't. Even if everyone were to hit, I couldn't kill them all. Okay, just, okay, okay. okay. At least just two damage they dealt to me. We got rid of three of them. There he goes. Okay, yeah, good, we're on, we're looking good. Looking good. Looking good up here. We're almost there, too. One more little forest. Okay, so save state. Since we're right outside. And let's go in. I do want to explore, though, because you need... Uh, I need stuff. And my uh, experience and money is always good. Holy shit. I don't know how much health they have. They do some damage, not a lot, but with no way to really heal uh, reliably, it adds up. <sighs> Probably isn't smart for me to all attack the warg like this. Oh, fuck. Definitely not, because we could have gotten rid of the others. They do a lot of damage, though, so if Mario can kill that, didn't. Wait, whoops. Why did it scroll down like that? Let's save the magic for later. Okay, get that potion to Jack. Or Mario, not Jack. Come on, kill it. Kill War, yes. Ugh. Okay, we got this. This was a this was the hardest fight in this uh, in this dungeon for sure. 47 experience is pretty good. Oh, fuck. 
Oh, he's... This guy does a lot of damage. And of course I miss. Of course, fucking stop missing! He does so much damage. I'm gonna have to heal uh, Banjo with magic this time. Cause No, not with magic, because it doesn't come back. No, with magic, because it doesn't matter. Potions don't come back either. Mm. This might not be very good. Come on. Okay, there's another Mystic Key door. Oh, for fuck. Okay, we got the, pre the, pre the preemptive strike. Oh, stop missing! You got the jump on him and you still missed? Oh my god, Mario. You can do a bit more than that. I know you can. Shit! Why couldn't we attack first? Why is a zombie faster than Mario and, and, uh, and Jack? Oh, for fuck's sake! I took like three steps! Oh, shit. There's probably poison. Oh, fuck you! Uh. Okay, thank God they're missing. Like, they're missing just as much as we are, pretty much. But Jesus Christ, it's just so frustrating when you... I take two... That was literally two steps. Like, that was on my second step that I was attacked. God, they need to tone that down. Like... Obviously, they can't because it's a PS1 game, but oh my god. I made a decision to play this game, and what you're seeing is me dealing with the consequences of my actions. Okay, at least you only did seven, but my main hitter is gone. So you're just watching me deal with the consequences of my actions. Oh, now he did 28, the little fucking piece of shit. Head back. I'll see you when I get back here. Hey, we're back, and we're back with it was surprisingly cheaper to revive someone than to buy a potion. So let's save the save state again and get back in there, and hopefully we can do it this time. Ugh, didn't gain any level, any like level on the way back, cause it's like you need a shit ton of fuck. If let's say we need a shit ton of experience to actually level up. Like this should probably get like I've never it's been a while as I said, but I don't remember the beginning of this game being this unforgiving. People could actually hit, it might be a little bit less. Okay, she like one shot that good. Like, I like how the white mage, the healer, is stronger than the black mage. Meanwhile, they both get the same amount of, like, MP or whatever, so, like, doesn't make weird much sense for one to be so much stronger. <laughs> Jill and Jack are both also faster than Mario for some reason, he's a thief. I know I should be going right in to do the thing, but no, you have to explore and get the stuff. Fuck this guy. These this guy's the, the the one that causes the problems. Come on. No. <clears throat> yeah, there we got him. We're doing okay. Could be better. I swear to fuck. Okay, I ran to these and, and escaped from them last time. I'm scared of these guys. If one ghoul does a lot, how much are these guys going to do? Unless the ghoul's just a stronger version. It makes sense for it to be one, but they're doing a lot of damage for just one- for four of them. Fuck Banjo, you're fucking worthless when you're not using your magic. Holy shit. Have to use a cure. 
your mind didn't get a chance to. Getting a lot more experience in here. Another Mystic Key Door. Jesus, that's four so far. Oh my god, here it is. is definitely the one we want to get rid of first. Oh my god, it's got so much health. Come on, Jill, be faster than everything else. Fuck! Fuck! Jill! Come on, Jill. The tension in this. Holy shit. I'm gonna have to leave to sleep. Uh, that's for sure. If I survive this. Like... No, I need... No! I don't know what that... What's causing that? Ah! I'm reloading. I have to reload. I don't want to walk all the way back. Let's just go back in. Oh, fuck's sake. At least we know not to go over there. Oh my god! Let's reload. This is... Crazy horse. <laughs> oh my god, I'm gonna see what he gives you for beating him. That's it? Yeah, I'm reloading. That's not worth it. Let's get in. Oh god, this game's a mess. Let's just go over, look over here. Because we know the other one's a mystic door. This one probably is as well. But we'll be there, do our due diligence, and because it also can give us a little bit of experience as long as we don't run into wargs. If I run into wargs, uh, I'm going to fucking fire him. Like, he's going to be burned because Banjo's worthless otherwise. And I want this to actually work out. I would like to actually ex live and get some experience too. So going, there's gonna be a set probably there's probably gonna be a time where I have to grind mm. there'll probably be a time where I'll have to grind I'll, I'll try my best not to do that on screen like on camera if I have to but ugh. there we go one of them's gone oh of course Jack missed what a fucking idiot I know it's not chaos, but you're going to have to kill it. Okay, and I'm going to have to use magic or a potion. These things tell like... Mario... If Mario... If it's my... If it's... If all this is because I'm using a uh, rapier on uh, Mario instead of a knife, why can he equip it? He equip it then. I'm running. I'm running. These guys, these guys do way too much for how little they give and how much they take. So I need to get these guys all healed before I go fight them. So let's go see. Okay, this is actually his chest. I got a potion back and a tent. Can you use a tent in here? I thought they only I could use it on the field. So I, I can at least run back out and use the tent, maybe? Um, and see if that recovers magic as well? It'd be great if it did. 
Okay, they got rid of them. Okay, that, those are easy, but they give nothing. Oh, fuck's sake! Uh, at least it's them again. Oh, but Banjo can't do anything. And Mario can't either, it looks like. Jill's got her back. Jill's carrying this whole squad. Come on, Mario. You, and Banjo finally did something. Jill finally didn't do something. Jesus. The first time for everything. Okay, let's get out and heal. If the sleeping bag heals everything, including MP, then I'll use... Or the tent, sorry. Then I'll use it if it doesn't. Also saves the game. No, it's just a lot and a little... Let's just use a sleeping bag for now, then. Actually... Yeah, let's use a sleeping bag. <laughs> Fucking bugle. So I have, I have a feeling that the tent will be best saved for after. Wait a second, what happened to my save file? That was weird. Okay, don't know what happened to my save file. Let's go. It's like loading... It's like loading a save state messes with the save files for some reason. Well... Look at these bats. At last. In exchange for the princess's life, all of Cornelia and its riches will be mine. Blessed and bonds the king. No one can stop me now. Very well. She'll take on all of you. Here we go. Let's fight him. How could he... Oh, yeah, Garland. Let's kill Garland. And let's burn him right away. Actually, let's try lightning on him first. Oh, fucking Jill, come on. You had one job. But say, does the game tell you if you're hitting the weakness? Let's try fire just to see. Come on, burn him. It's definitely bolt compared to fire. Oh my god, they're doing no damage. It's oh, it's literally Jack and Banjo carrying this. Which is weird to say, because Banjo's usually... Jack! You had one job! Oh, well, he's dead. That was easier than the fi normal fights. Or than, like, that's ridiculous. There's 250 gil for that shit. We got her. These bats are just chilling. Thank you for saving my life. I'm Sarah, Princess of Cornelia. Please come to the castle with me. My father would be most grateful for your valor. Is it going to warp me back? How fucking nice of you, game. My daughter is safe. I am forever in your debt. Lucan's prophecy has proven true. You must be the warlike warriors of whom he spoke. So I ask you to do what only the light warriors can. Rekindle the light of the crystals. Only then will the monsters infesting the world be banished and peace finally restored. To aid your journey, I will build a bridge to the north. I'm afraid that is all I can do for you. After all you did to save my princess, after all the running back and forth and dumb bullshit you did, dragging this shit out, all I can do for you is build a bridge. I guess we're happy about that. Excuse me. This loot has been passed down to the princesses of Cornelia for generations. Garland took it when he abducted me. Had you not come, he would surely have put to some terrible use. Please accept it as my gift to you. It may prove useful. I obtained the loot. We are now officially bards. Well... Yeah, let's just, let's just do a good old memo and save state there. Let's just do a good old save state. You know, you can't do wrong with a menu, me, uh, with a memo and a save state, you know? You just can't. <laughs>